All right, Roddy, uh, Roddy Smith has been, uh, he's done a few presentations with us on Spentley. Uh, he, are you the, the head of growth, head of sales? I think you, you got a promotion last time we chatted. Yeah, I'm uh, technically the director of sales. It's a pretty lofty title. I, I don't know if I've earned it yet, but uh, <laughs> hoping I can share some, of, uh, share some of my knowledge. And if we can, guys, in chat, Give Roddy a round of applause. He just got married, just got back from his honeymoon. Where did you go and how tan are you now? Uh, I, I just got back from uh, Jamaica on uh, yesterday morning. So right back into the swing of things today. I, I have this weird thing on my finger now that I'm still getting used to. So if you see me fiddling away with my hands, it's, uh, it's this weird thing on my, on my ring there or finger there. <laughs> I love it. All right. Let's let Roddy tell you uh, about your notification emails, which you probably don't even know about, but are about to become one of the most important tools that you can use for growth in your company uh, at basically zero starting cost. Perfect. Thank you so much, Derek. And thank you to the congratulations flooding in there. I, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, so let me turn on my screen share and let's just dive into this. So hopefully everyone can see my screen. Yes. Looks good. Okay, cool. So as you know by now, my name is Roddy Smith. Uh, I'm uh, the director of sales here with Spentley. Uh, and what is Spentley? I, I hear you asking away over there. Uh, basically, Spentley is an app that works with your store notifications to increase customer lifetime value and maximize customer engagement through your most opened emails. And these are kind of often overlooked or sort of hidden sales channel. Uh, so I've been working in e-commerce for the last four plus years now. And I found that I really like finding and working with uh, hidden sales channels. And these can end up being some pretty juicy, low hanging fruit. Uh, so I first met Vincent and Nicholas, who are the founders of Spenly at a uh, Shopify conference in San Francisco. And they explained to me what Spentley does, and I realized that this was 100% low-hanging fruit. Uh, and the vast majority of merchants really weren't taking advantage of this. And so at the time, they were kind of fine-tuning their development of Spentley. And when they reached out to me a couple of years ago to help Spentley grow, I jumped at the opportunity to, one, focus on Shopify, because it's obviously the best platform. Uh, to their ecosystem because there's just a whole slew of apps and partners out there who just want to help you. Uh, and three, a product that will genuinely help you, the merchant. So I know today's uh, talk is all about getting those first hundred customers. And I think Spendly can really, really help with this. So I'm going to be chatting. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen there. Let's go over here. I'm going to be chatting to you about the two parts of Spendly. One, your transactional emails. And then secondly, your follow-ups. So I'm gonna run through your transactional emails or store notifications or store emails or event-based emails, whatever we wanna call them, just don't call them newsletters or email blasts. Uh, we will also be looking at how you can improve your post-purchase experience and maximize customer engagement through follow-up emails. Before I dive into this, I'm gonna run a quick little rhetorical poll here to get you all thinking about this. So how many of you have seen what your order confirmation, what your shipping confirmation, what your account welcome looks like? And I'm willing to bet that a fair few of you are probably scratching your head right now, probably a little unsure. So don't worry, we're gonna run through it. So. Transactional emails, what are they? These are emails that are automatically sent based off of a shopper's interaction with Shopify. So these emails have ridiculous open rates. From uniques to totals, we see people checking these emails multiple times. Like the first question I always get asked when we have a new merchant on board is, why is my total open rates 237%? And that's because people are gonna check these emails to make sure that they use the right credit card, they got that discount applied, or they have the right shipping address, or they might look at it a couple times to you know, show their friends, their wife, their partner, whoever. And because people are opening these emails multiple times and repeatedly, 
it's a huge opportunity to show them additional stuff and get them back into your site. So these are, there are 18 total transactional emails or store notifications that Shopify sends out. So we've got six order notifications, order confirmation. This one's a big heavy hitter. Everyone opens this email. As soon as I order something, uh, I go immediately into my email to make sure that I get that order confirmation because maybe I'm weird and still a little skeptical of the internet. Um, but I always go and check it to make sure that that order went through. Order canceled and order refund. These are quite often seen as sort of negative ones, but we can try to flip these into a positive experience. If they got the wrong size or maybe they changed their mind or whatever, let's show them some other products in there and you know, maybe encourage them to get back into the shop. Draft order invoice, these are ones that you know you send out when somebody calls into you maybe. Uh, abandoned checkout, I think most of us know what these guys are. Uh, Shopify sends, can send out one automatically for you. And I'll talk about how we can use uh, Spentley's part two to sort of augment this. And then gift card created. We then have five shipping notifications. These are opened at uh, crazy amounts as well. So. I have a typo here. So those are not the right shipping notifications, but we have shipping confirmation, shipment out for delivery, uh, shipment update, shipment exception. There's one more that I'm forgetting, uh, but there are five total. So like shipping confirmation, I look at these, you know, several times throughout the day and click on that tracking link repeatedly solely because I have zero patients and I want whatever I've ordered yesterday. And so again, we see multiple opens, multiple clicks, and people open these regularly because they wanna keep track of where their order is. We then have four customer notifications. Uh, account invite is one where you send them an invite to make the checkout process easier. Account welcome, this is huge. If the shopper has gone to the trouble to create an account with you, chances are they're pretty interested in your brand. Uh, password reset, another great one where you can put some creative copy in there saying, you know, I forget passwords all the time too. Let's uh, get that sorted out for you. And contact customer, this is a good one if you're reaching out to them for something. So, and then the three that we have, and these are big ones. Um, if you have a brick and mortar location or you do a pop-up shop or you're working at markets or fairs uh, or whatever it may be, let's take that offline experience and try to drive traffic online. So there are three POS notifications. We've got your POS receipt, email cart from a POS and POS exchange receipt. Let's take that foot traffic from wherever you may be and turn it into online traffic and flip them back into your store. So I know I've said a bunch of times that we see crazy stats around these. Uh, Experian did a report and I did not make these numbers up. It's third party. Uh, but basically they looked at your order confirmation versus a newsletter. So 114% open rate. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. That's insane in the email marketing world versus 12% open rate on your newsletters. Uh, click rate 14.4% versus a 3% click rate. So these are some insane stats, 10 times the open rate, five times the click rate, six times more ROI. This is huge. I, I, I can't even make these up. And quite often when I'm, bring a merchant on board and we maybe go through some of these stats and they see that 90% unique open rate. It's, it's, it's mind boggling. The amount of opens that we see on your order confirmation, shipping confirmation, account welcome, because these emails aren't just uh, anticipated, they're expected and you have to send them by law. And that's why Shopify sends all of them for you. So, this is, uh, I, I like Derek's line, I'm gonna steal it from him. This is what he calls the aha moment. Uh, this is the Shopify default order confirmation. It does the trick. It shows what they bought uh, and it shows the total. It links to your store, but it doesn't really match your brand, your theme. There's no social links in there, navigation bar, any sort of marketing components. We only have two clickable links in there. Uh, if you sent out a newsletter or an email blast with only two clickable links, uh, you, well, you just wouldn't. It doesn't happen. So 
how can we get rid of this? How can we fix this? What is the secret sauce? How can we leverage this captive audience? Sorry, how can we leverage this captive audience's engagement to drive revenue? Now, obviously, that is why I'm here with Spently. Spently allows you to pop in some plug-in marketing components, uh, whether it's product recommendations, a unique discount code, social links, navigation bar, and, and I'll go quickly through our, our builder to show you how we do that. So, this is a beautiful looking Spently template. If we go back, here's the sort of boring Shopify template. Doesn't really do much for us. This is our uh, one, we did a case study actually on LeatherUp. Uh, I'll, I'll touch on that in a second, but as you can see here, it matches their brand. We've got some product recommendations in there at the bottom showing some additional helmets that you might want to purchase. We've got a few different ways that we can include product recommendations. We can do Spentley's recommended products, which is only going to show your most popular products and will never show them a product that they've just purchased. Uh, we can do a featured collection. It works really well if you have a new collection or maybe a sale collection, and it can be a great way to highlight a new line that you're rolling out or perhaps push some old stock out that you're trying to push off the shelves there. They've already purchased from you once, Therefore, they are way more likely to purchase from you again. They've got your trust a little bit. You know, they're, they're interested in your brand. They've purchased from you once, so let's drive them back to the shop. Let's give them maybe a unique discount code. Uh, and so what Spentley does is we generate these codes automatically so you don't have to do any work. And what we're going to do is we want to make sure that these discount codes make sense to your business. Um, having said that, we have lots of merchants who just don't discount at all, and they see loads of revenue through Spently regardless. But if you do want to include discounts, let's make it make sense to your business. Let's make it only applicable to orders over X amount, or to specific collections, or put an expiry date on it to try to uh, create a, you know, a bit of urgency around it to get them back into your shop. The, the other thing we do with these guys is uh, we pop the shopper's first name in there. So it's a, you know, Derek ABC123. And as vain as it sounds, we saw engagement go through the roof as soon as we started putting shoppers' first names in there because everybody loves the sound of their own name. Social links. We've had talks about Facebook ads. Uh, you know, brands have been built on social media. Now, let's make sure that we're looping those in there. Uh, we see a lot of merchants who will also pop in some user-generated content images across the bottom in there to sort of further tie them together. But let's make sure that we're driving them back to either, you know, uh, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, let's pop them back in there. And then let's pop a navigation bar across the top. I'm willing to bet your website probably has one. And as we saw in the default template, there's only two clickable links. By popping in this navigation bar, you're adding in four more clickable links right there for your most popular collections or about us or info or whatever you want. Not to mention all your social links in there. We've got a bunch of clickable links. So basically wherever they touch on the email, it's going to send them back to your site. So how do we do all of this? Firstly, what you're going to do is choose a template. Uh, to match your store design. We've partnered with Out of the Sandbox, and I know Derek mentioned the Turbo theme, which also happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, we have a theme to match that one as well. We've also partnered with a few of the other big theme developers, and we have an ultimate goal to have a theme for, or sorry, a template for every theme out there. Then you're gonna personalize it to, to your customer experience to be on brand. Other than just having your logo in there, let's make sure that we've got you know, your colors in there, your fonts in there, uh, your brand's voice. Let's make sure that all of this matches with your website. You've spent hours, days, months, years obsessing over the look and feel of your site. And then to send out the Shopify default uh, template for one of your most opened emails, just doesn't do your brand justice. So let's make sure that we're using drag and drop marketing components in there to arguably most importantly, drive revenue. So this is a huge one. Um, get granular. Currently as it stands, this is a bit of a blind spot in Shopify. Um, you probably have no idea how any of your store notifications are performing. 
solely because Shopify doesn't give you any stats or data around this. So with Spently, we give that to you. We give you how many emails have been sent, your total open rate, your unique open rate, your click rate, and then just to be extra transparent for the revenue generated, you'll see at the bottom there, we give you the email address of the person who placed the order, the date, and then the amount they ordered. Um, so Spendly uses a seven day window for attribution. Uh, standard in email marketing is 21 days. Facebook ads is like 28 days. We made ours purposefully narrow uh, to make that ROI as accurate as possible because attribution is a tricky thing at the best of times. And finally, with all of this data, you can then make informed business decisions about you know, which products are performing in these emails, uh, what people are clicking on. If you find that they're clicking on the you know, returns a whole lot, Maybe you need to make that a bit more clear in your order confirmation, shipping confirmation, just giving you a whole lot more information and data about how your most opened emails are performing. So that's part one of Spently, the store notifications. How can we take it one step further and how can we increase customer lifetime value and drive these repeat purchases back to your store? Now, with Spently, what we can do is we can foster, foster, that's not a word, we can foster customer retention by using automated follow-up sequences. Uh, basically bringing you one step closer to turning one-time shoppers, because nobody wants a one-time shopper, into year-round customers. So we've built out uh, 11 automated follow-up emails uh, and what we can do with these guys is just sort of make sure that you've got some templates there that are really easy to lock and load in there and get going. Abandoned checkout. I mentioned this before, this is a huge one. Depending on your brand, depending on what you sell, there's a whole bunch of different variables within there. But generally, you know, just sending the one email quite often isn't enough. If you're in uh, like beauty, makeup, sort of quick purchase, then I suggest sending out the Shopify one at like one hour and then maybe another email at 24 hours. And then I like throwing in maybe a plain text one in there. Uh, it's mentioning something from the founder or CEO. Customer win back emails. These are huge. Everybody should be doing these. Uh, generally what I like to do is send out an email at like 60 days, 120, 240, 360. Again, depends on your product, depends on how long the product will last. Uh, or when, how often you're rolling out new products. But what we can do with these guys is maybe do like a laddering increase of uh, various uh, discounts to include in there. So maybe on the first one, no discount, second one, no discount, third one, when we hit that sort of 180 mark, uh, include a small discount to get them back into your shop. And then you can increase it a little bit more. And generally with returning customers, you've already paid uh, through Facebook ads or whatever to get them into your shop. Uh, let's bring that cost per acquisition down a little bit and you can afford to generally give a little bit more of a discount away there. These two are two of my favorites. Purchase from a collection or specific product purchased. So we did a case study with Stash T. Uh, we were able to increase their sales by 5% through their store notifications and then we increased their sales by another 5% through these follow-up emails. And the one that they did that I really loved was a specific product purchased or given in this case. So you're able to add a free sample of their loose leaf tea. And when we're chatting to them about how we could increase engagement through these emails, um, we were talking about this one. And so what they did is two weeks after you have received that shipment, Spendly automatically sends out a follow-up email that says, you know, hey, Bob, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I'm willing to bet that you love that loose leaf tea sample that we gave you. Here's 10% off your next order from the loose leaf tea collection. And that way they're taking something that they've given to someone for free and turning it into a repeat purchase. And you know, people are sometimes obligated in these situations. You've given them something for free. So Cherry on top, you can sync all of your past purchases. So for those customer win backs, if you're thinking, oh, I had a whole bunch of traffic through you know, Black Friday and the holidays, I wish I was doing those win backs previously, we can sync all of your past purchases and start getting all of these people back into your shop sooner. 
Finally, in exactly the same way we do with your store notifications, is let's get granular. Granular. I'm having issues talking today. It's my first day back in the office. Um, monitor attribution based on unique links clicked. Um, you know, see what your open rate is. See how they're performing. If your total open rate isn't that great, uh, then let's play with some subject lines, and then we can get the click rate up, and then start generating the content for those guys. So, I kind of feel like this slide is redundant, and I know I have blasted through this probably a little bit too quickly, uh, but why choose Spendly, or should say why not choose, or why haven't you chosen Spendly yet? Basically, thousands of merchants uh, have chosen Spendly and are working with us. Uh, we've got boatloads of great reviews. Uh, in the last six months, we drove $100 million for them in repeat sales. Uh, most of our merchants see anywhere from like a 5x to 10x ROI uh, and it's working for them. It's working for boatloads of other merchants out there so it can work for you. So Derek stole some of my thunder already. Um, we recently changed up our pricing. Uh, so, you know, Spently, we're borderline a sort of startup as well and, and we remember what it was like when other companies gave us a little bit of help, and, and we still do. Uh, that's why we've changed our pricing to make using Spendly even easier. Our pricing is based off the number of orders uh, you're doing on a monthly basis. If you're starting out and doing less than 50 orders, Spendly is free, no one-time charge, just totally free. We want, to, we want you to succeed, we want you to grow. We've built Spendly with this mentality that we want our merchants to grow. Then when you hit 50 orders per month, you should probably be so happy with Spendly and the revenue we've generated for you that paying us is a no brainer. Uh, and once you're on that paid plan, we use usage based billing. So if you are a seasonal brand and let's say you're really busy in the summertime because you sell swimwear uh, and you have a huge spike in traffic, then our plans will just adjust and go up or down accordingly. If you have a huge spike for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or the holidays, it's going to go up or down accordingly. Because um, basically not every business is doing the same amount of orders month in, month out, and we just wanna make it as easy as possible for you to grow. So if you're starting out and you're doing less than 50 orders a month, hit us up. We'll help you drive revenue through these emails. We'll make them match your website uh, and make your just make your lives a lot easier because right now the Shopify default notifications just doesn't do your brand or your product justice. So that's for the most part me. Thank you. If you have any questions at all, hit me up. Roddy, R-O-D-D-Y at spendlyhq.com. Uh, huge thank you to Derek for having me on and a huge thank you to all of you for listening to me ramble on. If you are doing over than, bleh, if you're doing over the 50 orders per month, uh, shoot me an email cause you can't spell presentation without present. And I can happily give you a 30 day trial where you can give it a go risk free, try it, see how it works. And we generate a bunch of money for you. Then it should be an easy decision to stick around. Yeah. And this is one of those tools that I, when I built the tech stack roadmap that I had in my opening keynote, I, I knew like, this is one of those things that stays with you as you grow, uh, starts free, but, but grows into your business because it's so important. And, um, yeah, excited to see the future for Spendly Cause I think there's, there's more that will be done more integrations and more, more features. But, um, of course where it's at right now is, is, is th through the roof. ROI and it's not like a heavy use tool. It's just mostly once you just set it up, you're good to go. Yeah, it's very much set it and forget it. Easy to use. Uh, the merchants see the best success out of it, do update it a little bit more, but our builder is super easy to use and you can drag it and drop it all in there. But I will bow out. Thank you for having me, Derek. Greatly appreciate it and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Roddy. Until next time. <laughs> Sounds good. Take care.